Hey everyone, Matt from SamRolling.com, and today I wanted to talk about uh, keeping metadata even with merged clips. And if you don't know what merged clips are, essentially, uh, if you're an editor and you want to keep all the audio uh, with the associated video file every time you drag in that video file uh, over multiple times, so basically after the syncing process or with the syncing process, um, you would. I've basically chosen uh, just some random files. Um, to kind of merge together, just give you a demo. Uh, but if they had the same time code, uh, then you could synchronize them through various points, um, and then you can obviously rename this. Uh, so, I don't know, test merging. Um, and so then we get a whole new clip. But the important thing of when we drag this into Pro Tools is what it's going to do to the metadata, and can we still see it? Now, the most important part of this is when you're exporting uh, a project to go to your sound editor, then you will uh, ideally need the AAF option here. And the most important part is uh, separate audio, not embed. If you embed, then you're going to lose metadata. Uh, but separate audio um, has a number of advantages, keeping the general file size of your export lower. You can uh, put it up into little pieces because it's not all one massive file. Um, and I'll uh, throw up a link to a video of how to more in-depth options of these if you need to go over them. Um, so we'll do separate. Uh, these are all my tests that I've been doing uh, to try and streamline merge clip metadata. Let's call it merge. Saving the projects. All that good stuff. Go into Pro Tools, import session data, and go to the right one. We just called it Merge Clip Meds Data, merge. And then we can import from the source. Don't have to worry about anything for this example. And here we go, right. And then how did I get all of this data up? Because um, a lot of people don't have them. So if you go to basically view clip, then you have all this extra juicy info, uh, such as scene and take, and uh, even original timestamp, or no timestamp at all. Um, so straight off the bat, if you were just to import it without any of these, because the default is that these clip options are off, uh, then you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between these, um, and it obviously doesn't hold any useful information for us, because new intro full HD is uh, useless. Like, I don't know which one's the boom, which one's the mix, which one's a radio, um, so, <coughs> excuse me, um, so what we can do is instead change it to scene and take, we can go to clip and we can take off name, and now we can see that we have basically uh, seven, I mean these are duplicates anyway, but we have uh, 7-6 take one, but then to get more information on why these are different, we can go to view, clip, uh, and channel name, and then we get what was originally called. So we have a mix track here, we have a boom, and then we have a radio, which is just called Radio 1. Um, usually you would name, it's useful to name the radio tracks, uh, the name of the character name of the person that you're dealing with. Um, but that basically shows that you can maintain the metadata through uh, the latest version of Premiere Pro uh, straight into Pro Tools and not have to worry about um, kind of any anybody renaming stuff uh, just make sure that they still export with separate audio and generally all this data is also saved because it's a broadcast WAV file. So that is also a very useful point as well. So I'll uh, throw up a link to uh, the rest of the playlist for just exporting uh, different types of stuff, OMFs, AFs, um, some of the comparisons in between, but I thought I'd just make a few little uh, videos just with some more detailed uh, kind of granular uh, comparisons uh, to help you basically further understand metadata from Premiere Pro to Pro Tools. So do subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments down below if this was useful or if I've missed anything off. And I will see you later.